Hello, I'm Jason with MathTutorDVD.com and in this section of our tutorial on the calculator we're going to focus on these nice three buttons in the middle here sine, cosine, and tangent and I suppose that they put them in the middle because they're some of the more frequently used buttons that you'll see on the calculator here and of course immediately related to that is what's printed in blue above inverse sine, inverse cosine, inverse tangent uh, don't get too confused by the way in which it's written you know, to the negative one like that. It, it, it means that it's the inverse, uh, the opposite of the sine, the inverse sine. Sometimes you might see it in a book as an arc sine, arc cosine, arc tangent. Uh, but in this calculator it's written as um, raised to the power of negative one, just to tell you that it's an inverse. Um, we'll go off to the mode menu first and just see where we're at. We're set up in radian mode and uh, that's fine. You can switch it to degrees if you want depending on what you're doing in your homework or your test. You might be working in degrees or in radians. Most of the time, especially when you get out to college and, and in real life engineering, you'll be dealing with radians um, almost all the time. So these buttons, really, there's nothing much more to it. If you remember the definition of, of uh, what sine and cosine and tangent is, you can do it all in terms of triangles. But the calculator, you know, because it's a little computer inside, it, it calculates the answer very quickly. So you'll just take the sine of, of one radian. It'll spit out the answer. Uh, you can take the inverse sine of a number. In this case, let's go ahead and put the answer that we got back. And in this case, we'll take the inverse sine of the answer and we get back what we started with because that was the inverse. And it's really the same thing. Cosine of, you know, 52 radians is going to give us some number. Let's say inverse tangent of negative 0.5 is going to spit out a number. Whoops. Well, you can see here that I actually put a number in that, that it's not possible to take the inverse tangent of. So you can just go ahead and, and hit quit, like it says, and it's going to give you an opportunity to, to go back to the screen and correct it. Let's go ahead and clear the screen. Uh, but in any case, you can see that, that you can take, uh, you know, negative 0.5 and uh, maybe take the inverse cosine of that, negative 0.5 and uh, it'll spit out a number in radians, 2.09 radians. And so that's sort of the big, you know, the, the big um, deal there. It saves a lot of time because, you know, you might want to